Hey, what's up everybody? It's VR Gamer Dude here, and today on Lunchtime with my Gear VR, we're getting stealthy. So we're gonna check out Protocol Zero, and I gotta say this one's been in my library for a while, and I don't know why I haven't played it, but uh, was checking it out the other day and was absolutely blown away by one feature of this game that I wanted to share with you guys. This game actually has pseudo-positional tracking. That's right, you heard it. So even in a Gear VR, if they use the neck model, you can actually get a small amount of positional tracking. So what does that mean? Well, it basically means that we can lean around corners. So not going to be able to lean forward and backwards as you'll see here in a second, but you can actually lean around corners. So in a stealthy shooter type game like this, makes all the difference in the world. So, all right, now I have already played the first three levels of this a couple of nights ago, but I'm going to go ahead and start here at the beginning so you guys can get a gist of what I'm talking about, and we can kind of go through the game together. Now, when you start the game, you know, basically you want to try to complete it in the least steps possible. There's going to be some intel that you want to try to find throughout the levels, and then obviously you want to get to the end of the level. So... All right, without further ado, here is Protocol Zero. Now, one other thing I thought was kind of cool, since this is kind of a stealthy military kind of thing, uh, the graphics are all kind of this green screeny, like you're looking through a night vision goggles, and that actually works really well in the screen of the Gear VR. It, it, it absolutely reduces any of that screen door effect and makes the graphics look pretty damn clean. So, alright, so this is what got me jazzed about the game. So, as you see as I move up here to the wall, ah, look at that, I can lean around. So, by leaning my body left or right, it actually tracks with the headset. So, obviously, as I said, if I lean forward or back, still we get nothing, but, you know, leaning to the left in a game like this, or leaning to the right, it really makes a difference. So this one also does have snap turning, um, however I highly recommend playing this standing up. Uh, for me, really the only thing that's missing this game is free movement and free turning. I, I really wish the developers would have added that as an option for those uh, people like myself who do not get VR sickness, but you know, you take what you can get. Um, all right, so let's quit babbling here. Let's actually get a little gameplay going. So, all right, so I'm heading over here. Uh, let's go ahead and hack this terminal here, get this door open. All right. Oh, got us a spotlight. Oh, it's a camera. Okay, so, yep, definitely don't want to be detected by the cameras. So, we'll kind of time our movement here a little bit. Uh, oop, there's some intel. Hey, hey, stop me moving. I want to go over and get that intel. See, now, like, as I said, if I could free move, I could have just kind of, like, stealthily moved around that. And, you know, like, I, I understand why developers are still cautious about putting free movement into the games but yeah come on guys give us a choice i don't like this teleport stuff like your game so far but i hate the movement so aha there we go so obviously didn't get it in the least steps but i did find the intel and i have completed the mission so let's take a feel of my phone here. Starting to get a little hot, but I think we can probably squeeze another level out. So, all right, mission two, first blow. We've got to eliminate the guards and acquire the MPI. So let's see if we can get that done before the phone boils down. All right, so I think this is our first mission where we actually get to shoot something. Yep, oh, there we go. All right, so a reticle means perfect aim. Right in the dome. Gotcha. So 
Um, movements are a little slow in this. Um, you know, obviously they got a lot going on here for a Gear VR title. I'm kind of surprised I haven't seen this moved over to the actual Oculus Rift. But, you know, it, it's something that might be coming. I don't know. Um, I'll have to reach out to the developers and see if they have plans to bring this to the Rift. Um, but I could see this working very well in the Rift. Especially since there is a gun mechanic to it. Maybe when touch controllers come out, that would be kind of awesome. Okay, so let's see here. So I'm going to shoot you. Aha! And shoot your buddy. Alright. Let's go down the stairs. Sure, there's no. I just can't get used to that in a Gear VR. That is so cool. We have needed something like this for a while. Now, I was reading. I guess there are a couple of other things that utilize the neck model. Um, I noticed that it's kind of utilized a little bit in Oculus Home. Now, uh, it did seem that I could move around slightly, uh, not to this degree of freedom though. Um, and I've also heard that you can do it in the uh, Netflix app. So, go over there and get our intel and then I think we'll call this one today because I'm quite hungry and I really do actually record these on my lunchtime guys so all right let's see here and complete yeah there we go all killed still didn't get least steps though I guess that's really gonna take a little bit of planning to get through these levels with the least steps so, all right, let's go back out here to the main menu. So, yeah, Protocol Zero, man. I, you know, just for the novelty of the posi the pseudo-positional tracking using the neck model alone, I would highly recommend that if you have a Gear VR, grab a copy of this. You will not be disappointed. Uh, sure, it could be a little faster. I really wish they had the uh, free, look, uh, you know, the free movement and the uh, smooth turning in there. But, yeah, like I said, you know... It is what it is, uh, but overall, kind of a fun game. I can't wait to play more levels and kind of see where this progresses. But for me, that's going to do it. I've got some pizza calling my name, but as always, thank you so much for watching to the end of the video. Uh, you, you guys know I, I it means the world to me when you do that. Uh, and if this was your first time coming in, thank you so much for stopping by and taking a look at what I do here on my channel. If you want to see more great VR content, make sure to head over to my main page, uh, hit up my sidebar, see what the rest of the VR spies are doing. It's a great group of guys that I am blessed to be a part of, and we are all out here every day working hard to bring you guys the best in virtual reality on YouTube. And after you've done that, head us over, uh, head over to the VR Spies forum. Directly interact with all of us. We'd love to hear your thoughts on our latest videos, the website, whatever the heck else is going on in VR that you want to talk about. But uh, for me, as I said, I'm out. Oh yeah, don't forget to smash subscribe if you liked it. Sorry, got to add that in there. Um, but uh, for me, I'm out, guys. This is VR Gamer Dude signing off, y'all. Peace.